Are you tired of quarterback contain content yet? Well, that's too bad because that is the difference between winning and losing ball games in Madden 22. As sad as it is, you contain the quarterback, you win more ball games. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best 3-4 formation to go ahead and contain the quarterback. This is going to tie into the 3-4 defensive ebook that I've done absolutely free here on the YouTube channel. So if you guys missed that, make sure you guys go check it out before you watch this video. Now let's get into it. <laughs> What's up, guys? Zane for the Zane Man YouTube channel. And if you missed yesterday's video, you missed probably my best YouTube video of the year. And I'm going to basically combine that video with the free defensive ebook that I put out last week here on the YouTube channel to express to you the single best 3 4 formation to run against the mobile quarterback. Now, in order to make this particular tip work, you're going to want to have two formations in your game plan and that is going to be the three four even which is going to be what we come out in but we're going to audible into the three four cub formerly known as three four solid just want to say thank you so much for helping me reach twelve thousand subscribers here on the zan madden youtube channel it is the spring of 2022 and we're still pushing upwards with the channel things are really growing not only here on the youtube channel but also on my twitch channel twitch.tv slash zan madden where i also stream monday through friday in the afternoons and obviously on the gridiron game plans website and in our discord where there's a ton of awesome community conversation if you guys could do me a quick favor make sure you guys if you're not already hit that subscribe button as we push for 13 thousand subscribers and we'll see you guys here on the other side of this now in order to run this particular scheme you're going to need to choose one of five different defensive playbooks and those playbooks are the three four the tampa bay buccaneers the arizona cardinals the detroit lions and the pittsburgh steelers now if you were to ask me which of those particular playbooks would be the best to run i would say to either go with the detroit lions or the pittsburgh steelers and the reason for that with the detroit lions is that they also have the 335 wide which is extremely meta and also the big dime 236 which is my personal defensive formation in madden when my opponents are running three wide receiver formations if you guys wanted to take a look at the pittsburgh steelers defensive playbook they also have the nickel triple which is a nice little defense that I use as a goal line defense. In fact, I did a goal line defensive video here on the YouTube channel early on in the year. They also have the 236, which is, again, my favorite defensive formation in the game. So definitely go with the Lions or the Steelers on this. So let's go ahead and get into practice mode, and I'm going to show you how to set up this scheme from start to finish to make this work. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our depth chart on the defensive side of the ball, and we are going to sub players appropriately. As you guys remember in the 3-4 even, what we like to do is go ahead and basically put our fastest possible contain player as our strong safety number one. So for me, that is going to be James Pierre, who is 93 speed, 91 acceleration. You do not need block shed, power move, or finesse move to shed in a contain, contrary to popular belief. This is 100% something that is triggered by the quarterback scrambling and the quarterback scrambling only. You could have a player with zero strength, zero block shed. They are going to shed on these contains. So you want as much speed as you possibly can get. Now, in terms of the rest of your team, you're going to want to make sure that you take your right outside linebacker. And if this is somebody you actually like on your team, you're going to want to sub in somebody else. So for me, I'm going to sub uh, Taco Charlton at this spot. It's going to be a wasted roster spot for me. Your middle linebacker is going to end up being somebody that is dropping in coverage in this. So you're going to want somebody with good speed at this spot. Uh, you're obviously as well going to want to make sure that you have uh, a good pass rushing outside linebacker. You're going to want speed here as well, to be honest. So uh, one thing that I would actually recommend doing is um, I really think that you just prioritize speed at this particular position when you're dealing with a mobile quarterback. So for me, I mean, TJ Watt is good, but you could probably do a little bit better in terms of your depth chart. If you wanted to kick Devin Bush to contain, you could. Uh, it's up to you. But I'm going to leave TJ Watt just for the sake of this. Now, in terms of your defensive line, you're going to want to make sure that your single best pass rusher is actually at the defensive tackle spot. So I am going to sub in wasted spots at both of my defensive ends here. We'll go ahead and bumper sub here momentarily. 
So I'm gonna put Wormley and Louder Milk in. And like I said, our defensive tackle is going to be your single best pass rusher. This is going to be the guy that when you run this defense, he's going to split through the middle if they don't have a post up. Now, most players do have post ups at this point in the year, but in the event that you run into somebody that doesn't, this is going to be the player that gets you most of your pressure in this particular defense. So I'm gonna sub in Cameron Hayward at this spot. Thank you for checking out this free content over here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you guys are enjoying this content, make sure that you guys also check out my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg. Gridiron Game Plans is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden. Every week in our Vault Update, we go over the meta, or the most effective tactics available, being used by pro players on the MCS circuit, breaking down not only how and why the pros do what they do, but most importantly, how you can counteract those metas when you face them in online gameplay. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every game plan on the site all year long for just the low price of $9.95 a month. And you guys get access to our Discord channel, where we have members of the Gridiron Game Plans community chatting daily, helping each other get better at the game. And this also includes a lab session every single Wednesday night on the channel. So make sure you guys get over the website. If you guys are looking for the best escape artist defense in the community, you have to look no further. GridironGamePlans.gg. Now back to the video. Now, going back to our secondary, I'm going to be a big fan of running more of like a cover two shell in this particular formation. So I would stress that you guys use as much height as you can on the outside. So with the Steelers having a Kello Witherspoon, I'm going to sub him at corner where he's six foot two. And then you'll also just kind of look around your defense and try to find somebody else that's rather tall. So I'm going to put Miles Killebrew at number two. Uh, so that way he's playing on the outside. Now, up top at safety, you're going to want to kind of have, you know, your traditional safety mold. So your starting free safety number one is going to start. And then I'm going to sub back in Terrell Edmonds as our strong safety two. This is, remember, in the 3-4 even, the player that actually plays strong safety. And strong safety one goes to outside linebacker. So now that we've got our depth chart set, let's go ahead and come out and set up our defense. Keep in mind, we're going to be audibly into the Cubs. So we're going to set an audible. This is going to be whatever play you really want. I think Strike 2 Spy is a really, really good example of a play that is easy to set up, and I'll get into that here momentarily. So I'm going to set that as an audible. Now, when we go and set up our 3-4 even, we are going to flick the right analog stick to the left twice and get our strong safety at linebacker package. This is going to put in strong safety one, which is that 93 speed corner or the 92 speed corner that we started at strong safety one at outside linebacker. Then from there, all you have to do is make sure that you bumper sub appropriately. So I'm gonna put, you know, some outside linebackers. Um, let's put Highsmith, that was the player that we didn't wanna waste. Uh, we put him in the game. Let's go ahead and put in another uh, outside linebacker. Kind of up to you what you wanna do here in this regard. Uh, this spot, you know, I could put in spill lane. That's fine at that spot. And then that'll free up the ability for us to, uh, you know, put another outside linebacker. So. We've got our package set here. We've got some, you know, outside linebacker speedier types that we're gonna be dropping off the line from yesterday's video. So we're gonna come out in the three, four, even, any play that you want. And as soon as you break that huddle, you're gonna audible straight into the three, four cub. So we're gonna to go to the right twice or the left twice if you're in the Steelers playbook, audible into strike spy two. Now, keep in mind that we are in the package from the 3-4 even. So if we were to take a look at our safeties here, we actually have the unique three safety rule assignments, outside third left and outside third right. I'm gonna use both of those. We're also going to make sure that we spread our defensive line and base align with this. This is going to create the front that we created in yesterday's video, which is going to allow us to keep perfect contains on the quarterback when they try to glitch us. And then what we're going to do with this is we're going to take that middle linebacker. That's the speedy player that's going to drop through the middle. And we're going to put him in the middle third. This is going to create what I call the inverted cover three. This is my favorite coverage. And this is where I will stop in terms of the individual adjustments that I'd like to use in this beyond this part. Um, I will continue to break down the quarterback contain. But if you really, really want to lock down with this coverage scheme that I'm about to show you, head over to Gridiron Game Plans. I've been teaching the nuance of this coverage out of different defensive formations for almost three months. I'm able to shut down bunch, bunch tight end, trips tight end, tight, tight way off. You guys get the picture. I can shut down nearly any passing scheme with this coverage if you know what you're doing. And we talk about it in the vault weekly. So definitely go over and check it out. Now, with this particular front, 
what we're going to be doing is, as you remember yesterday, if you take these players that they like to double team when they glitch and you drop them into zones, they are going to make the tackles retarget back to the middle of the field. So what I would actually do right here is rather than having two vert hooks on the field, I would actually spy this player and vert hook this player. That gives us a shallow middle, two vert hooks, two flat zones, and the cover three shell up top. And what this is going to do is this is going to prevent your opponent from being able to roll out. So if I wanted to roll out to the right and glitch the contains, what players would typically do is slide protect to the left and slap a double team on the defensive end to the inside of that contain. But what that's going to do is that's going to take the contain and throw him off of the tackle right into the quarterback as he goes to scramble. And this gives him good leverage. And this is going to be something that's going to allow you to get easy pressure and a sack on the quarterback without them ever having a chance to break contain. This is what we broke down yesterday in this video. So now what we're gonna do is set up the exact same thing, this time a little bit quicker. So we break huddle, audible into strike two spy, spread our defensive line, QB contain, put our players into spies, and we are set. Now with this particular call here, what we're gonna end up doing is trying to go to the left. And with this, again, you're going to have that tackle retarget, throw the corner off of the block, and we're going to be looking for a dive tackle animation. Now, right there, the corner didn't really trigger a suction tackle. I would recommend clicking on, but I'm going to show that to you again. We audible into strike two spy. We are going to spread our defense and repress QB contain, put these players in coverage, and we're good to go. If they try to glitch our contain, to the left, we are still going to be able to keep good leverage. Again, you see right here how that looks. That time we got a much better animation and we were sacked in the backfield. Being able to roll out opposite of your throwing arm is a lot tougher than rolling out to your throwing arm side. You may notice that when I do these scrambles that Lamar stutters. This is not something that I'm doing on purpose. This is the way it goes. And you see that as soon as I hit that turbo button, the left tackle just shoves him out wide. And that is exactly what we want with this particular strategy. And we are gonna be able to get to the quarterback very, very easily. So we can now see that we've got the contain that we installed yesterday. We've got the coverage scheme that we installed last week. Let's talk about getting to the quarterback once they understand that they are not scrambling on you at all and they must pocket pass. At this point, most players have already lost the game because most players are lost if they have to throw from the pocket. But we're not done. We're gonna get to the quarterback here in this particular setup. So once again, we're gonna audible to strike two spy. We're gonna spread our defense, repress, and make our coverage adjustments. So we are basically all set and with this particular look you'll notice that there are three players rushing this is very very important very very important if you have three players rushing you will not get a shed so if I were to send five out and just drop back you're gonna see here that nothing happens I'm gonna have all day long if I don't move nobody is gonna shed you're gonna have all day long unless you know they shove a player into you. You see right here, I'm still talking. I'm still talking. Finally, somebody gets to the quarterback. There's no shed that's going to occur. But let's go ahead and set this back up. And I'm going to show you what happens if you blitz your user. So we audible to strike two. We're going to go ahead and spread our line, press, QB contain, make our coverage, uh, make our coverage adjustments. And we are good to go. Now, this time, what I'm going to do is I know that I'm in the vertical hook to the left. I am just going to go ahead and blitz my user. Now, traditionally, my user is just going to be lurking that vertical hook area. So let's now go ahead and send five out. And I want you to watch our one player in the middle. Keep in mind, this was the player at the beginning of the video that I told you is the most important pressure player in this defense, your nose tackle. He is going to eat a double team. And if he has an advantage in the power move or the finesse move over the players that are blocking him, he will split the double team every single time unless they have a post up ability. You're gonna run into a lot of players that still don't have post-ups. That's fine. But I do think people are gonna understand that there are cheap post-ups out there. And you know, this strategy is gonna be a little bit tougher to execute moving forward. I think that it would be a good idea for them to figure out a way to make sure that double team logic was sound with the post-ups, but not impossible to shed. Uh, pretty important here. So let's go ahead now. And with our user blitzed, watch how this player plays. So we snap this ball. As soon as he gets double teamed, you're gonna see Cameron Hayward splits that player. And now we're in a spot where those contains are 
really chasing us down. So this is exactly what we are looking for with this particular concept. Again, let me show this to you again. We audible into Strike Spy. We're going to spread our defense, repress, and then we are going to make our coverage adjustments. Uh, and that is outside thirds, middle third, and blitz our user. So we are all set here with this example. And again, if they go into any pass setup, you're going to see that Cameron Hayward is going to split. I go to scramble away from him. I'm working right into the perfect contain. So that is how you create the perfect defense out of a 3-4. You cannot instant scramble glitch. You cannot scramble at all late in the play. You're getting pressure from the inside. You've got a coverage foundation. If you guys don't feel comfortable setting up all those crazy coverage adjustments that I just did, don't worry, that's fine. You could audible in any stock play you want. Mix up your cover two, mix up your cover three, mix up some different match plays. It's up to you, but this is how you do it. This is how you build a full scheme from scratch. This is how I install my defenses. I look at the problems, I figure out the solves, and I mesh it all together and try to make it look the same. This is how you lab a defensive scheme. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know that you guys liked yesterday's video. I wanted to kind of tie it into the 3-4 defense that I put out last week here on the channel. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying all this content, man. Um, I feel like we're doing some of our best defensive content here late in the year. Um, it just so happened to be that way. It wasn't a situation where I decided to, you know, unload the clip here in April. It just so happened that this was a breakthrough that we had in April, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab, and good luck. Thank you.